Well, hello. Today we're going to do a really super quick review on the Pythagorean theorem. Just two quick examples on how to use it. Um, this is not a this is not a why it works or a how it works. This is just two practice examples. So, the Pythagorean theorem here we recognize from years past is the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It tells us that the square of the sides of a right triangle will equal the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, first thing we recognize is the hypotenuse is always the longest side opposite the 90 degrees. So here's a example. We do have a right triangle with legs of 7, 17, and the hypotenuse of x. So notice the 90 degrees here, the longest side is x. So the first thing I'm going to do is label those sides. A and B doesn't matter, but the C is important. C is the hypotenuse. And then I've got my Pythagorean theorem. So from there, uh, I'm going to substitute my values in, the 7 for the A and the 17 for the B. And I'll just use the C. I'll leave the C as the same. I could have changed it to an X. I'll simplify there. 7 squared is 49. 17 squared is 289. Just use your calculator there. Then, of course, add those together. And at this point, I'll want to square root. Now, here it says c squared is 338, so the square root changes the c squared to just a plain c. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to use my calculator, and I realize that it's about 18.4. Another example, I've got another right triangle. This time I have a 9 for a leg and an x for a leg, and the 21 it represents the C. Now that's important to recognize that the C is 21 here and I'm actually missing one of the legs. So once again I'll label the other two A and B. It doesn't matter which one is which as long as the C is labeled correctly. And then I'll use my Pythagorean theorem. So substituting in the 9 will go for the A. I'm gonna leave this as a B squared. I could have left it as an X. Could have changed it as an X if I chose. And then 21 for my C squared. Simplifying, 9 squared is 81, 21 squared is 441. I'll subtract the 81 on both sides, and 441 minus 81 is 3060. Here I'll take my square root to find out that B is approximately 19.0. Now in reality I think that was 18.97 um, but I was supposed to round to the nearest tenth. It's important to put the 0 .90, 19.0, so that I don't think that this was a perfect answer. The 0 .90 really indicates to me that yes, this answer had been rounded. Thank you guys for your time. I hope this answers any questions. Two quick examples of the Pythagorean Theorem.